Do you want your stories to be motivational? Do you want them to motivate people to get out there and take on the world and overcome their problems? If so, I would encourage you to change your perspective. Having been around the speaking world for 25 years, I've come to the conclusion that I am never going to motivate anybody to do anything. I've also been a parent to three boys, so I know. You, you, you know, it takes a different perspective than motivation. What we should be shooting for is inspiration and not just general inspiration. But what we want, I think our purpose as speakers and storytellers is to help people when they get past the honeymoon phase of a new business project, a new company they've started, working with clients, and when they hit those inevitable potholes in the road and the rose-colored glasses come off and all of a sudden they realize, oh my gosh, this is not going to be as easy as I thought, that's when our stories will be most helpful to them. When they need an outside force to help push them past those difficulties because sometimes they don't have their own strength or they're just too tired, our stories of overcoming our own problems will help them get through theirs. That's why we should be speaking, not artificial motivation. They've got that if they got a new idea. What they need is inspiration when times are toughest. That's the greatest service that we can give through our stories to every audience we talk to. In the next video, you're going to hear about the concept of scars and why they're beneficial to your audience.